Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, TechnoTalks here. So in today's video, we're gonna be checking out yet another charger, and this time, this charging brick is going to be the only charging brick that you'll ever need when you're traveling. So this right here was sent over by VoltMe, and this does go for around $99.99 on Amazon, and again, as always, I will have a link in the description. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. So here's the packaging, VoltMe uh, Revo series, and this does use GAN technology for fast charging, which is a little newer now. Uh, it's better than the previous technology and Anchor has been using it as well. So from that, you should already know that it's gonna be a pretty powerful charger. This is a 140 watt charger, which will basically charge all your devices that you are carrying with you, which is just gonna be super nice. I actually do have one of these chargers. I do have a separate one. Uh, it's similar to it. It does have 150 watts of power out output. However, I keep that at home. That's actually connected to my desk setup, and I just have all my charging cables connected to that. So when I'm charging my phone, my MacBook, my iPad, I just use that. So this right here will give you that functionality as well. So opening it up from the bottom, we do have this nice little pull tab to take it out of its box. And we do get some pamphlets in here. So let's go ahead and pop the box to the side and get it out of the way. So here is our charging brick. So inside, we do get a welcome guide. Uh, this is, I guess, a guide, but you really don't need this. Uh, it does show you some outputs, which is really nice. So for uh, MagSafe charging, if you do have a MagSafe compatible MacBook, I don't, I have the MacBook Air, which uses USB-C, you are getting 140 watts max. And then if you do connect another one, uh, you are getting 100 watts max on the second uh, charging kit, on the second one. And then for the USB-A, you are gonna be able to charge your phone and iPad. You can still use the SVC for your phone and iPad as well, but again, if you're charging all three at once, this is the recommended way. So let's go ahead and move this out of the way. We do have a thank you for your purchase. Let's get that out of the way. And here we have our charging brick. So neatly packaged, very simple as it should be. Really don't need much for a power brick. So this is a monstrosity of a charging brick. It is huge compared to probably your most other chargers. But again, as I told you, this is gonna be the only charger you're gonna be carrying around when you're going and traveling with all your smart devices. So we have a nice little design etched onto it. It's a nice little texture right there. It's only half of it. And we also do get some branding right there. Volt me, nice uh, black coloring to it. Uh, it's a little lighter than black. It's like a grayish color, but overall looks pretty nice. We do have our ports right here. So USB-C, USB-C, and then USB-A. Again, the recommended is to charge your laptop and then you can charge another laptop and then your smart uh, your smartphone or your iPad or tablet with the charging port down here. So we do have a nice little foldable area for the charging brick, which is always good to know. Uh, it just makes it easier to carry around and it is definitely pretty solid on there. So when you do close it, it's gonna stay inside of there. I have used some other charging bricks, which are pretty flimsy and they do tend to break, but this one doesn't seem like it's gonna be like that. So overall, very nice charging brake, um, very easy to carry, especially for this power output. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this connected up and charge up my devices, which I have lined up right here, my MacBook, my iPad, and my iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video right here and skip to me charging these devices. All right, so unfortunately, I cannot find a USB-A to USB-C or a USB-A to U Lightning. So I'm not gonna be able to charge my iPhone or any other Android device, but I do have my OnePlus watch charger right here. I can also use my Apple Watch charger as well. Uh, you can charge your phone with this. It's just, it's really unfortunate. I just don't have a USB-A to Lightning or USB-A to USB-C. So let's go ahead and get this plugged in. So here's the VoltMe charger, 140 watt charger. And here is uh, my extension cable right here. Let's go ahead and plop that in right here, as you can see. And then let's go ahead and get our devices connected. So starting off with the MacBook, which I have right here, USB-C to USB-C. Let's go to move the iPad out of the way, right? So get that out of the way. And now let's go ahead and check it out. So first up, starting off with the MacBook. Again, it is connected right now. And if we do connect my MacBook into it, boom. So it's charging the MacBook right now. And then let's go ahead and get a USB-C to lightning cable. 
All right, so here is my USB-C to lightning cable, which I will go ahead and connect right here. And then let's go ahead and get my iPad. All right. So here is my iPad, which I'm gonna be plugging in right now. Boom, so the iPad is charging as well. So pop this down. And finally, let's go ahead and get my watch to start charging. So plugging that in, which is now three devices. All right, and here is my OnePlus watch. And boom. So you should be able to see it in a little bit. This might not have any juice, I haven't used it. And as you can see, it is turning on right now. So charging three devices at once, here's what it looks like. So very nice indeed uh, that you're able to use one charging brick to charge all of your devices. Uh, again, if you do have USB-A to Lightning, then you can charge your iPhone or USB-A to USB-C. You can charge your uh, Android device as well. So unfortunately, it would've been better if they had all three USB-Cs, but I know some people have not used, uh, have are not using USB-C. Uh, there's a lot of people that I know that don't use it. So I guess for those people uh, that don't use USB-C all the way, then again, this would be the better option for them. So again, let's go ahead and unplug these. Let me go ahead and move these out of the way. So here is our volt me charger, 140 watt. This does use GN technology. And again, here it is. So overall, very nice product. Uh, again, there will be a link in the description if you do want to pick this up. It is definitely on the pricier side, but usually for products like these, they do go for around that price point, $100 to around $150. So being at the very minimum is, I guess, a really nice advantage with this right here. So that'll basically wrap it up for this video. Again, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see y'all in the next one.